Secondhand furniture shopping is a great and affordable way to find a new centerpiece for your home. But more often than not, a little work is required to help it realise its full potential. Take this tired sideboard for example. Not to be deterred, we'll show you just how easy it is to restore this piece with some help from Face Watson Stain and Varnish Liming White. But first, let's take a look at what you'll need. Some Face Watson Stain and Varnish Liming White, a clean cloth, a paintbrush or roller, an electric sander with fine 240 grit sandpaper, Sally's sugar soap wipes, painter's tape, paint in a colour of your choice, we're using an olive leaf green, and your safety gear. Start by removing any handles so you can freely sand and paint. We're going to replace these with some brushed brass handles. Give your timber surface a light sand. For a smooth finish, we recommend a fine 240 grit sandpaper. If your surface is a little worse for wear like this one, it's a good idea to fill in any gaps using Cabot's wood tone putty. Sand back once dry and wipe away any dust with a clean cloth. For surfaces you intend to paint, wipe down using some Sally's sugar soap wipes. For the timber top, we're going for a bright and airy effect made possible with Beast Watson's Stain and Varnish Liming White. Stir the product well and paint the surface with a brush or roller. Make sure to go in the same direction of the wood grain. Its water-based formula is non-yellowing and imparts a light milky white colour and satin finish without covering the natural characteristics of the timber grain. To complement the Liming White timber top, we're painting the rest an olive leaf green. Mark off sections using some painter's tape before evenly applying with a brush or roller. Follow paint directions regarding drying time before applying a second coat. Once dried, attach your handles. And that's it. With a little face Watson stain and varnish liming white, your sideboard will be transformed and looking great for years to come.